Hi neighbors, this is your friendliest neighbor in town, the Allen Girl next door, and today I will be showing you how to prepare behemoth steam pork chops. So let's get started. Hey, this, this is your friendliest neighbor in town, the Allen Girl next door, and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how I prepare my behemoth steam pork chops. So let's get started. Okay. What you're looking at is some pork chops that I have washed and cleaned with my vinegar, salt, and water, and I pat it dry. So, what here is what I'm going to use on these pork chops to season in it. However, you can use whatever seasoning you desire, but I'm using my house seasoning, and this is just some season I made. I put together here at my house. Okay, and then we're going to season both sides. Always remember. I'm also going to use some complete season. Onion powder, garlic powder, and then we're going to turn it over and do the exact same thing. Okay, these are some beautiful looking pork chops, by the way. I'm just going to let this season sit in this for a few minutes, probably about 10 minutes, okay, because I'm late cooking today. Let's drop these in really well. And then I'm going to move over to the stove. Okay, guys, it's been about 15 minutes, actually. One thing I did forget from this, uh, from seasoning my meat is some Norse chicken bouillon. Those who knows me know that I put this chicken bouillon on everything because to me it makes everything th taste better. I'm going to massage this into our meat. We'll also add some more onion powder. Guys, excuse the song in the backdrop. It's my daughter's cat and always driving me nuts. She needs to take her to the vet. So let's move over to the to the stove. Okay, neighbors, what you're looking at is my cooking oil. Okay, I also added two uh, tablespoons of butter, and the butter is just for flavor. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just go ahead now and input my pork chops into the pan. Okay. And since I only have four pieces, I'll just put two at a time. Okay, guys, I actually cooked these pork chunks for about five minutes until I saw that the edges of one side was pushed up. Okay, because we don't want to overcook our pork chops. In the meantime, I just got to cut out my onions and bell peppers so that we can make the sauce. Okay, neighbors, what we'll do We'll take the portraits from the hot pan, 
pan and then we'll get rid of some of this grease because this is just too much grease to make my sauce. Okay guys, our pork chops are out of the hot pan. So what I'll do, I'm going to add in our onions and peppers. Okay, we have some yellow and green peppers. So I'll put that right there. I also have a little piece of scotch bonnet, but I'll put that in a little later. Our red onions, because I don't have any yellow onions. It doesn't matter, any onion will do. I will just go ahead and let us cook some, okay? For about a minute or two, just until the onions are translucent. Okay, our veggies are nice and translucent. So what we'll add is some cut up fresh tomatoes. Okay. I actually should have added those with the onions, but that's okay. Just want to give this a little stir. And then I'm going to use a little bit of red wine just to, to, to glaze my pot. amazing okay I promise you if you're not a drinker this big C will have the non drinkers drinking <laughs> along with praying y'all better learn how to pray out there yes so now I have you at this point you can either use some tomato sauce or tomato paste I'm just going to use up the rest of the tomato paste that I had from last night's cooking. So we're going to add some tomato sauce. Okay. Look at that gravy already. Ciao. Mmm. It smells wonderful in the Island Girls kitchen. <laughs> Let's get up all that goodness from at the bottom of this pot. Do you see how rich and thick this gravy is already? Okay, we're going to add in our fresh thyme sprigs. We'll just pick that out at the end. I'm also going to add a bay leaf or two to this pot. But um, let me get my pork chops back in here. Because we don't want to overcook. Okay. Do y'all not see this? I know you do. You're going to pretend like you don't, but you do. Alright. So what we'll do now... All the drainers from the pork chops, we're just going to add a little water to it. So our pork chops can finish cooking. We're just going to pour this to the side. Okay. Until it's just about co completely covered. Right. So now I'll get a, uh, a top and cover this for about 15 to 20 minutes, okay?
Okay, neighbors, we're back. So it's been 15 minutes since these pork chops have been cooking. Just let's see what this these pork chops look like. First and foremost, let's start with our gravy. Look how rich that gravy is. It's undeniable. Yes. Okay. So now let's check our pork chops to see if they're tender. Oh yeah, fork tender. Okay, not dry at all. All right, neighbors, I'm actually steaming some asparagus to go along with these pork chops. I also made some mashed potatoes. So once my asparagus is done, Sunday supper will be served up. Hi right, guys, welcome back. I just got through uh, cooking these beautiful pork chops for Sunday supper. So how's your Sunday going thus far? I hope all is well. I know there's a lot of chaos that's going on with the virus and what's not. But I just want to say don't be discouraged, you know. And try not to lean uh, onto your own understanding because we have no control over this virus. Okay? Mm. We have absolutely no control. Actually, I meant to show you what's on. What's for dinner. I have bohemian steamed pork chops, mashed potatoes and gravy, sweet plantains, and asparagus. Mm. But yes, I know it's nerve wracking because I feel, I, you know, initially I was feeling quite anxious and nervous, but then I was convicted. You know, and I had to remember the word of God, you know, telling me that he will be my comforter. And even if I get sick, he is my Jehovah Rapha, my healer. He is the ultimate healer. Okay. Just be very cautious, though, as you go around your day and day, uh, day to day duties as particularly those who have to go out there and work so thank you for everybody who has to work particularly um, grocery store workers neighbors thanks for stopping by if you're new to this channel please hit the subscription button give this video a thumbs up and comment down below so until next time neighbors be blessed bye now and stay safe